In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of JSON as we use this extensively on the AI gaming platform. And it's how the Microsoft Cognitive API returns information about the objects it's analyzed. Understanding the basics of JSON will speed up your ability to develop a solution by putting all of the data that you need within easy reach. Let's start that overview straight away. The Microsoft Cognitive Services API functions return their results as JSON objects. So it's important that we understand the structure of JSON. It's also useful to know how we can access JSON in Python so that our code can get at the data that the Microsoft API returns. JSON objects are text strings that are written in a strict format so that they can also be read by software. They carry labeled data and are widely used to send information to and from API services. A JSON object starts and ends with curly brackets. It can contain two basic structures, either key value pairs or lists of values. An object consists of zero or more of each of these structures, and the structures can be nested inside each other. Key value pairs and list members are separated by commas. In this example, the JSON object consists of one key value pair and one ordered list. We can convert this text JSON object into a Python dictionary to use in our code. Let's use the AI Gaming Python editor to demonstrate this. To convert text in JSON format, we use the json.loads function. This function is available after importing the standard JSON library. This code shows an example of how we could load our JSON into a Python dictionary. In Python, values within the dictionary are accessed using square bracket notation either specifying the key name to be accessed or the index of the list member. If the object were loaded into a Python variable named myDictionary, the values could be accessed using the following code samples. You can see that myDictionaryKeyName gives the result of value and myDictionaryList1 would give a result of second as list indexes start at zero. Let's try another example where we load some different data into our JSON object. In this example, we've created a list named animals and it contains two members. Each of these members are collections of key value pairs. You can see that list members do not have to have the same format. The second member in this example has two key value pairs where the first member only has one. The example assumes that animals only have names if they're dogs. We again use the JSON load s function to convert the text string into a JSON object and load it into a Python dictionary. Now we can access the data in the Python dictionary and if the animal type is set to dog, we can print the dog's name. Another approach available to us is to check if a particular key value is present in a dictionary using the in operator. Our check to see if the animal has a name could be rewritten using the in operator to say if name in animal, as shown here. JSON objects support four types of value. We can have string, number, boolean, and null data types. Further information about the syntax of JSON objects can be found at json.org. In Python, JSON objects can be created very easily by assigning values to a Python dictionary. Here, we create an empty dictionary. First, we add a new string key value. Next, we add a new list key value, where the key is named list, and the value is a list containing the strings first, second, and third. If we wanted to print the JSON in this dictionary, then we can export it into the text of a JSON object using the json.dumps function. json.dumps is performing the opposite operation to our json.loads function. In our example, we use json.dumps and then print the result. The output is a long string containing the JSON. We can tidy this up by telling dumps to format and indent the JSON by adding the indent parameter to the dumps function 
and specifying how many spaces we want each section to be indented by. Now we can see that the output is formatted and each indent is set to two spaces. That completes our overview of JSON. There are more videos in this series, so please check them out. Thank you.